What is your insight of Jacob's wrestling with the angel of the Lord? Why did he have to wrestle? Was it a setup? Who did uh, he wrestle with uh, and prevailed? How is how to understand the angel's reply? Your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. Uh, this is a great question. Um, Jacob, his name meant deceiver, and his whole life up until this point, if you look at the history of his life, he's always angling for self. He is fear-driven and fear driven and self-centered. So he, he connives and cheats his brother. He lies to his dad. He is constantly working angles against his uncle to get the best deal. He got scammed by his own uncle in the marriage to, to Rachel and got and ended up with Leah. Uh, the same types of stuff is being put, perpetrated on him. So he's still constantly living in fear. And then when he's finally going home, if you remember the circumstances that brought him to this point, he gets the word that his brother Esau is coming with 400 mighty men or 400 strong strong soldiers, and he is now terrified. He is afraid that he's finally going to have his comeuppance. His brother's going to come and put him down. And so based on his fear, this night he wrestles with the angel. The angel is Jesus Christ. This is who he's wrestling with. And he's, and he's wrestling with him against his own fear and selfishness. His whole journey has been, will I trust God? Because God has given me a promise early on, but I didn't trust God to fulfill the promise. So I go out to cheat, lie, connive, to make the promises come true in my own way. Now will I finally trust God to handle this for me? Or am I gonna continue to connive and, and angle things? And finally, he finally surrenders self dies to self. This is the valley of the shadow of death that we all must go through in which our soul is restored and we're led in the path of righteousness for his namesake. And this night he dies to self and is finally reborn with a new heart and right spirit. And so his name is changed from deceiver to Israel, which means one who with God overcomes. And he, in union with the angel, finally overcame his own fear and selfishness and is reborn with a new heart and right spirit. So that's what's going on there. And that's our last question, guys.